where crime exists, where some people are forced to assimilate, where some people don't acknowledge their white privilege. We live in that, in that world now. So what we need to figure out is in, in, when we're in that space, what can we do? What are the types of things we can try? And so we're just going to try. Is that cool? Does that make no, sense? No, that totally makes sense. I just, I, maybe, yeah, maybe I can explain to it. Can well, I, I mean, then just please. as the now former protagonist, I, I think what you're also saying is that I think in, in oppression, a lot of times, all these people sit around and talk about how other groups should fight their own oppression for them, and that sometimes those techniques aren't as authentic or may not represent even the resources that are available to the people in those situations, um, which I think is very, very valid. But what we're trying to do in this space, too, is to say, OK, maybe how can we expand add tools into our toolbox and hear about what other people do. And of course, then we, Lee is really good at going back and saying, is this a realistic situation? Would someone who's in my skin, in my body suit, coming from my story, be able to do the same things that other people who are jumping in who don't have that? Um, so that's something we're very conscious of. But uh, we're, right now, we're just trying to see and try out and put into our bodies different actions that you can do and learn from them and see what could work and what couldn't work. And I think that you would also be surprised at what could work that you didn't think could work. So I, I, I know what you're saying. I mean, you, what you're saying is more what I'm saying. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your question. I'm really nervous. No, yeah. the whole space of foreign theater is nothing. We're not trying to get this right. Okay, that's not that's not what we're looking for. We're asking for the dialogue. So that is just as much a valid point as this. It's all about it. It's for us to talk about it. We have a form. We have a form that we're utilizing. This is a, te a technique. This is a game. But we're playing it together. And so we need all the different types of perspectives. There's no wrong way to play. There's just this, what we're doing is what we're doing. Great. Your name, please. Uh, Jim Barak. Jen. J-E-N. Uh, no, it's actually J-I-N. J-I-N. Why don't you write it? I, I, it's not a familiar name. Uh, it's really important to me, actually. It's a part of my culture, and I would feel very dismissed by being uh, held accountable for writing my name on a name tag. Would you mind just... Thank you so much. Okay. How do you spell it? J-I-S. Jin. Barak. B. O. R. A. <laughs> Oops! Couldn't fit the A all the way on, but I did the best I could. <laughs> Have a seat. Stop. <laughs> all right. So, what did we do differently? Insisted that he spell the name out. Yeah. What else? Did that work immediately? I mean, it's also an end of thing too, but he just stood still and he just waited and it was like his present. He was not going to move. And it was a very, I just felt it as a female, I think I felt it as a physical, that he wasn't going to like try to please or move or adjust her, himself or her as her physically to accommodate anything. He was going to wait until he got his knee met. Okay, great. How'd that feel for you? Uh, it's all good. I, I mean, it, um, it, it, I think it's like probably a pick your battles thing, you know, and probably having the, the uh, hindsight of seeing how the whole rest of the exchange was going to go. It seems like something that, looking back, would have been the only uh, uh, the only thing, that, or one of the only things I could think of. Cool. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks. And it's important to recognize that, that somebody who's doing that for the first time may be able to do it for the first time. But when it's happening every single day, at every seminar, every step of your life, that that's what it's like, okay, do I want to get it today? Yeah. And today, and today. Because again, this is one situation that kind of represents a large thing. Who said stop? Oh, you did? I Would you just, just going to say, have a, have a, uh, you know, Mr. America, rewrite it so the A fits. <laughs> so the A fits, okay. Would somebody do something differently um, in this situation than Jim Burla, our protagonist did? You would? I would just not do the sticker. I don't, I don't like to wear stickers anyway. <laughs> so you would deny the name tag. Do you want to try yeah. that? Sure. Okay.
Casey for being here. Oh, the lanyard. I forgot the lanyard. Oh, that's very important. Yeah. How else would we know? I wouldn't be quite dead in that situation. Welcome, and your name? Uh, Jen. Jen, J E N. No, J I N, but that's all right. You don't have to bother yourself. Thank you. Oh, we're going to need your name if you want a loan. Where are you don't going? Don't you have it already? We're going to need your name. But don't you have it already? Excuse me, we are five minutes behind schedule here, so you need to be quiet and you need to give me your name. Actually, you know what? This is taking too much time. Here, yeah. just write it. There you bye, go. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, you don't want to. Bye. What did he do differently? <laughs> what did he do differently? He just walked away. What was that? Inserted his own values. Inserted his own values. Walked away. How did that? How did that work? Did that? Did that change the the situation? Yeah, do it. He was wanted. Okay, so you felt there was some reaching. Yeah. Okay, so that's just, uh, that's just a character quality, you know, character clarification. Yeah. I would just say that the, the way I would play a situation that I have in the past, and it's just my style, is I, I would want him or her or whatever on, on their knees for me. To get so you would, you would want the... Yeah, I would, uh, and maybe that's all my history and everything, but uh, they'd be begging me to stay. Yeah, and, that, and that this, is, this is what we have to recognize, is that there's different things power. will work for different people yeah. in the world. We also have to analyze what does that mean. We're not, this space is not at all to um, attack or villainize anybody for the way that they walk through life. It's to acknowledge that we do walk through the world differently. Some of us don't even walk through the world. Like, you know, we, we have different ways that we exist. And we need to be conscious of it because we can't actually be having these conversations if we say it's only about money. And money is the only thing. That was the reason why Occupy the States began. Because we heard people saying race doesn't matter in this conversation. And race impacts who gets money. Just as sexism does, just as ableism does, just as classism does. It impacts the bottom line. And we cannot be doing this without having these conversations. Theater became a way that we could have these conversations that brought people into them when they weren't expecting to have the conversation. And so people were a little bit more open to actually talking like, oh. And even more so, no matter what your identity, coming up here and taking the stage is harder than you think it is. You may think that something will work, but when you go up there, when you're faced with it, maybe it's something you've never been faced with before, it becomes more clear. Make sense? That's Fantastic. Um, somebody else have an, have an idea of what they could do? It doesn't have to be at the name tag. It can be at any other part in the, the scene. You would do something different? Would you yeah, like we to? could show up with the, no, no, we could show up with the crowd of occupiers and protest their uh, bank policies. You would protest and shut the down the bank. Awesome. I mean, we're going to try that one out tomorrow at s17nyc.org. <laughs> Right. So let's try that tomorrow, okay? We all on? Awesome. Anybody else want to try this out and just see what could possibly work? And you can do anything. It doesn't even have to be, you know, something that you would normally do. Just try something. Yeah. We take them up. Magical lander. <laughs> Where would you like to take it from? Um, from the name part. From the name part, okay. And next. Hi, my name is Jen Barak. Jen. J E N. No, actually, it's Jen. Jen. Jen Barak. Ah. Here you go. You can write it. It's really simple. It's just J I N. You can write it out. I know I can write it, and so can you. Here you go. <laughs> can you take this, please? It's just J. We're five minutes behind schedule. I would like you to write my name, please. 
You did it for everyone else. Yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> what is it? J I N. There you go. Jin. You. You're welcome. Simple. Have a seat. <laughs> Let's get started with the workshop. <laughs> so what did she do differently? <laughs> she asserted, but but people have been asserting already, and, and, did, and it, sometimes it works. And some, why did it? Did the name get on the name tag this time? Well, she made the connection that she'd done it for everyone else. Why not her? So acknowledging the discrepancy. Fantastic. Great. Anybody else? Something else? Sure. Can we go from uh, the, the form? Oh. Starting at the first category? Yeah. Oh, you can have your lanyard. Fine. Magic the lanyard. Yeah. Okay, so let me pass out this form. As you know, there are three primary indicators to building financial independence in this great country of America. Education, employment, and home ownership. Let's look at the first part. Race, you want to know a little bit about your race. Check one box. Well, I'm white, but I don't really see color. Right. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> don't worry about it. Where are you from? Uh, I was born in Manhattan, but my family's from Mexico. Oh, are you legal? I was born here. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you're a stop? From where? From you? Yeah. Would you do something different than Jim Barra in this moment? That what? The question was out of line. Would you like to, to tell Auntie Sam that from the scene? <laughs> okay, all right, continue. All right, so go ahead and check the box. Uh, but Hispanic isn't an option. Oh, that's okay, you can just put white. And you? Um, yes, I'm Korean American. My family came here when I was nine. So you're probably going to want to check Asian or Oriental. I always get those two confused. All right, next section. Uh, okay, <laughs> a lot of stuff bubbling up. Who said stop? Raise your hand nice and high. Come on. Who said stop? Fine, I said stop. <laughs> Would you like to come up? All right. Okay, so what did she do differently? 
Yeah. What? She had some resistance. What kind of resistance? She's a Hellraiser. She's a Hellraiser. What else? What'd she do? She pointed out the facts of her, uh, her situation. She pointed out the facts of her situation. Being that, you know, being Korean or Asian or otherwise should be a, a factor in determining, even though statistically we base all our loans on percentages of our population, race profiling, assuming lower, middle, and upper class. Obviously, very rich white. Caucasians, where you usually have wealth. And we basically figure, okay, by going by that premise, we know who we're going to give our loans to and who we will not give our loans to. Okay. So for those of you in the back, he was saying that, that she questioned the race in general and how it's in, involved, even though our banking system is really set up that we privilege people based on the racial demographics of who we think is, is valuable enough to own a home. Great. What else? You had your hand up? Yeah. So the question really in this in this moment becomes, what are the possibilities that we can do? And also recognizing that that if this is something that you face once on a stage, there's more options to you than something that you face every single day. This is one what, five minute scene, and we've already had this much difficulty just getting name on a name tag, right? <laughs> when you whether or not this is your life, at least expanding the understanding that people who face oppression on one issue or another have more difficulty in engaging in the system when the system is set up like this. When the system is set up for some people to be pushed super forward and some people to stay really far behind. And if that's the system that we're working within, this isn't just a bank loan. This is your, this is your home, this is your job, this is your, your uh, social status, this is the grocery store in many situations. This, if this is an everyday thing, then you're, you have to question when do I move forward? When do I try? When do I push? When do I let go? Yeah. Well, it was also fascinating. As soon as there was any resistance, it provoked guilt, panic, white privilege, crazy, like, uh-oh, she's pulling the race card. And it's like, who's really pulling the race card? It was pulled a long time ago. Exactly. <laughs> um, you know, all the, the creators of these applications and beyond. But um, that will provoke guilt and um, I don't know what I don't know what the word would be called or what would you call what your reaction was fabulous it was white so girl tears <laughs> white, white, white girl tears oh, yeah. that's actually what we named girl. the tactic tactic is white girl tears <laughs> so we have to wrap this up now so we can move on to the the final scene I just want to say that these that um, our actors they actually are, are training in tactics both of resistance and pushing. The, the goal is not to, again, alienate, vilify, or anything. It's to explore what, how, how does this stuff work in the world and to give challenge to the audience so the audience pushes challenge back. Because if we're going to fight oppression, we need to have the strongest tools to do it. And the strongest tools are not with one swoop, swoop of the axe the system falls down. It's with being creative and trying all the different things that are available to us within a system that, that is complex and, and flexible and also very, very creative in how they continue to, to function the oppression. Um, so if I can have all the actors back out here so I can give you a big round of applause. <laughs> Occupy and in the rest of the city. So, so keep looking us up. We're gonna hopefully be engaging um, in protest actions and engaging the public tomorrow. So come and find us. See what we're up to. We're gonna take a brief intermission, but first, we Nancy Sam has a hat that we are going to tip over. Many of you have already given, and for that we thank you very, very much. 
If you've not had a chance yet, you came in late really quickly and you have not gotten a chance and would like to contribute, we would appreciate that too. If you'd like to contribute more, we always will accept it. Because here's this work that we do, we want to continue to be telling the stories and connecting with more and more people. And so any way that you can help us do that would be really, really great. Um, so we're going to pass this around, and if you can, put something in it, and if you can't, that's fine as well. And then we're going to take a brief intermission before the final show, Tent of Dreams, which is awesome and amazing. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to uh, shut down the live stream here for you folks. Uh, we'll be back in approximately 15 minutes, and uh, we'll be able to we'll, uh, resume our live stream. Uh, if you would like to contact me, this is at Freeman Sullivan on Twitter. Or you can Google Freeman Sullivan. Uh, we'll be Just back like up in 15 minutes. Okay? So uh, do tune back in, and uh, we'll be there for you. Thank you.